Welcome to the Pilates Show Mondays, outside the Pilates studio, where we bring our Pilates brain and body into the real world. I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're talking about releasing the head and the pelvis. All right, so we have our handy dandy overball, and we're gonna look at doing this against the wall and on the floor. I love this, I travel with my overball everywhere, and so, yeah, you'll look a little funny, but in the airport, when your flight's been delayed 10 hours, you can do this up against the wall and you don't have to get on the nasty airport carpet. So, the first thing I like to do, because it's really relaxing, is to put this behind my pelvis, and then I can walk my feet out and my knees are bent, and my back and my head aren't touching the wall, right? But this is giving me enough support where I can really kind of let go of my pelvis, let my sitting bones hang, and then just do this gentle rock, this little pulsation of my pelvis, rocking my pelvic organs. It's also really relaxing to have your hand, one hand on the lower belly and one hand at the solar plexus and imagining or trying to get those hands a little bit closer together and apart from the movement of the spine. And this is gonna be really, really nice for relaxing and releasing the bones, the tissue, and all the organs inside. And then from here, you could also do a little circling of the pelvis. So you're keeping the head and the shoulders as easy as possible as you trace a little circle around the back of your pelvis. And then of course, you wanna reverse that because it's always a different experience in the other direction. All right, so after that, I like to go to the head. And this is, this is more of a difficult one to get for people, especially against the wall. On the floor, it's much easier. So here, you're gonna put this behind the head. You have to find that kind of just right um, Goldilocks position where, where you feel comfortable with the ball at the back of your head. It's almost like the head is a picture frame and you're just hanging from that ball. So you also want the spine and the pelvis to hang and you wanna make sure your feet and legs feel comfortable. Now here on the inhale, like I, I like to start with tipping my head upward, right? This is kind of how we all are during life where we have this stretched out front of the neck and a really tight back of the neck. And then as I bring my head back into its neutral position, I reach back into the ball and up and it's brilliant because it, it turns on my deep neck flexors here. And then to have my hand here at the front of my neck to feel that is great. So going up, I can inhale, and then exhale. I'm sliding the ball up the wall, feeling my deep neck flexors turn on. Good, here I can also add just a tiny little rotation side to side. And as I do this, I'm thinking about really releasing my jaw, feeling the weight of my bottom teeth, feeling my opposite collarbone lengthen, letting my arms, my forearms, and my hands go. All right, so that's the wall work with the overball. And then if you're able to, to get onto the floor, now we can do similar things on the floor, in supine, so just completely collapsing onto the floor. So you can put the overball, of course, behind the pelvis and do a, numerous different things here, rocking back and forth, side to side. You can do the circling again, or you can go to more complicated shapes, like an infinity sign on the back of the pelvis. And this, again, is really, really relaxing. You could go to the hands coming together and apart through that pulsation of your spine. All right, and then you can also put the ball behind your head. And actually, this sequence on the back um, with the overball behind the pelvis and behind the head, I will use at night if I know I'm gonna have trouble sleeping this is a great way to kind of calm the nervous system, rock your pelvis, rock your head before you get into the, the bed. It's also a great thing to do before you go to sleep in an unfamiliar place when you're traveling. So um, carry your overball with you at all cost, the overball. So here with the head, you can nod again, closing your eyes, letting go of your jaw, side to side, and then 
a circling around the back of the head that makes the C1 and C2 vertebrae feel so good. And you wanna just keep cueing yourself to be really heavy at the back of the head. Thanks for joining us. We'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or the forum on our site.